what a nightmare. Take one. Hello, hello, hello. hello What's governor. happening here? Hello, governor. We never intro like that, have we? No, not normally. Hey guys, me and Alex are back with some more candy. Yeah, and more from America. More from the US of O. And this looks like, um, you know, national stuff. It doesn't look like anywhere no. in particular. So this is cool, but yeah. there's a lot of stuff here I don't think I've seen before. Yeah, a lot of new, really interesting yeah. things. Um, there were some duplicates, but as always, we like to keep them aside. Friends and family enjoy those. As always, shall we start with the letter and yep. look? A and K. A and K. D, Alex. And Kate. Again, what's happening? What is happening? Unless he's just doing alphabetically. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Dan. I found your channel thanks to that pesky YouTube algorithm a couple months ago. The algorithm did something right for once. Ha <laughs> ha. It That's works good. sometimes. <laughs> Yay. To my surprise. Yes, a lot of you watching right now don't actually subscribe. So if you enjoy our videos, why don't you click subscribe? I think you should. Okay, to my surprise, I really liked it. The Trying American Candy series really fascinated me. I've been pondering about sending my own box. I'd been brainstorming so many ideas. Originally, I only wanted to send things I had only personally tasted, but during my travels, I found so many interesting things, I decided to toss them in. Personally, I think the best part of the videos are when you two try something with no context. It really, it's really fun seeing the raw reactions. Does it look super weird that I put almost everything in Ziploc bags? No, it's not. I absolutely love the Ziploc bags and Kay always the reuse Ziploc. them. Alex has such a boyish charm oh, to him charm. and not in a way where he comes off like a frat bruh. Yeah, that's the last thing anyone wants, isn't it? Yeah, he says it's refreshing. That's when good. Kate, it's really cool that you always look so put together, but in a way that looks like you just rolled out of bed, naturally just look that good. Aww. It takes about five hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't really. I think what really sells people is the chemistry you two have. Honestly, my last couple months have been tough. Health issues, setbacks, death, and just tons of not so good times. However, there's something about watching your videos that just takes me away from it all. I feel happy. Thank you. Hugs and pogo sticks, Dan. That's funny, because what did you get in your chemistry GCSE? Don't know why. What did wondered. you get? Oh, I'm just wondering what you got. I don't know. You do know, surely you know. No, I really don't. I either got B or C. In chemistry. Oh, chemistry particular. I, you really know what yeah. you got? It's one of my proudest well, achievements. Well, did you get an A star? No, I got an A. A. Yeah. Well done, Alex. But I just, I want to know if we've got good chemistry. If you've got bad oh, chemistry. No, I think I got a, probably a C. Yeah. Not the bright don't know how it's the working box. then. Okay, we don't actually have a single savoury crisp. Really? So what would you like to start with? The combos, the only single savoury. It's not savoury. What? Caramel. <laughs> have we tried these before? I don't know, I couldn't remember, so I thought best keep them in. There's have no savouries. Not a single savoury. So how am I going to work myself into it? <laughs> Go eat your bag of crisps. Are I'll you trying these first? Yeah. Because they, they must be the closest thing to savoury. Because they'll, be the they'll still be pretzel. Yeah. Okay. Daniel. Oh, his name is literally Daniel. Dan, I was Dan, like, Dan, Daniel. Daniel. Sorry. His name's literally Daniel. I like it because they're like, it's like salty. Mm, and they sweet. still are like savoury. Mm. Ah! Have you a cake? Okay? I'll just put my ass here. No. I don't know why, but the first one I put it in, I'm not the biggest fan. Mm. But then when you get it all together... It's almost like sickly when you first put it in. Yeah, but then when... Mm. Or like too salty. Mm. And then when you get it all together, it's the perfect combination. Yeah. Ah, see what you did there. I perfect didn't even, combo. I didn't even do that on purpose. Well done, Kate. What are you giving those? Yeah, 9 out of 10. I think I'll give 9 out of they're 10. They're not my favourite combos. No, they're not the pizzeria. Do you know what kind of is savoury? These. We've got some um, like breakfast bars. Oh, thick bar. Oh, I thought they were broken, but they're all in the same they're place. I half. think you get two. These are from Nature's Bakery. We've got three different flavours. Honey and oats. Where's Nature's Bakery? Do you reckon it's just in the woods oh, somewhere? I thought you were meaning. <laughs> yeah, just in the woods. So we've got honey and oats strawberry, gluten-free fig bar, and a gluten-free pomegranate bar. I'm going to start with the gluten-free fig. I'm going to start with the gluten-free. Oh, no, you're starting with the pomegranate. 
Oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is a fig bar though. Mm. So you get two little rolls that look like fig rolls. Well, that's tasty. No high fructose corn syrup, no trans fat and dairy free. Mm. Mm. Try the fig in that. That's really tasty. It doesn't taste gluten free. This is a fig fig bar, gluten free. Mm. This one's a bit more chewy. Mm. Mm. The stuff on the outside is quite powdery. I wonder mm. if that's because it's gluten free. Maybe. Mm, that pomegranate's delicious. I think the pomegranate's my favourite. Pomegranate is so good, isn't it? I think this might be quite like a neutral grain bar. Yeah. Oh, I can smell cinnamon, can you? Mm. Believe it or not, my favourite's actually the gluten free pomegranate. pomegranate. Same. How funny. And then, in some ways, I think actually mm. the fig and then the strawberry. There's some good little bars there. Mm. I'd have those for breakfast. The, I've never um, seen them before. The strawberry one reminds me of the continental breakfasts in like uh, the travel yeah. lodges, the pull up motels. Mm. The pull up motels. Eh? Yeah. Do you want to pick next? A Hershey's waffle. Okay. Now, Get out I way. think <laughs> we've tried the bar version of this, potentially. Oh, what's this? A bag? But it's Dolce de Leche. It's, but it's the Dolce de Leche version of the waffle bar we've had. It's Dolce Delicious. Dolce Delicious! And this is um, in a bag. We've not seen the bags. We've no. seen the bars that are like this. Shall we try this as well with yeah. it? And do you just get little pieces I don't know. Here? And are they individually yeah, wrapped? Yeah, little individually wrapped. No. That's cool. Oh, like that's a really cute. Snack bag. Now, yes. we have tried a mint one, haven't we? But it was yeah. definitely a crisp. Like a, almost looked like a. I'm not sure if it's this one, but in a different, different shape. It was one no, of those you no fatter pieces. bars. What are they called? Yeah, but do you not remember when we bit into it? It was almost like glass. Oh yeah, like peppermint, wasn't it called or something? I remember really liking How's the waffle break? ones. Mmm. Trying That's to find them. Delicious. I can't really taste like Dolce de Leche, but no, I need to go like. it's got, the more you have it, it's more, it has got like a sweet caramelly taste, but it's not It's just like, got like a rich caramelly I color. got like a hair somewhere or like a fluff. No, you hate that. That's nice. And mm. um, we were saying it's only really the plain Hershey bars that's got the sick taste, isn't it? Like you don't notice it in these. No, there was something else. The kisses though as well. Yeah, some of them. It depends what flavors matched with. Ooh. Oh, look. They come in three, so they obviously just put those Looks in. Like a... Thanks. Mm. Good though. That's oh, nice. There's not many mint chocolate bars that I like, mm. but that was nice. It's, it's almost like An the, the mints are really nice. That literally tastes like after eight, doesn't it? Yeah. I think I've grown to like mint chocolate now. Well done, Hershey. Some good chocolate there. Which mm. one would you prefer, the mint or the dolce? I think the dolce. Do you? The dolce. The dolce de leche. Crazily, I think the mint. Really? Yeah. That's so funny. I think it's really refreshing. Do you know what, Matt? Watch out. Kate's found the perfect man. <laughs> it's Have Dan you read man. it? He's sweet and decadently rich, just how a man ought to be. That's I don't like bit. those old fashioned stereotypes. If we're going all out of quality, I think the equality woman should go can the other be way. the breadwinner. Yeah, I don't think a man has to be decadently no. rich. It should be sweet. That'd be nice, wouldn't Sweet's it? Sweet's nice. It doesn't have to be decadently rich. Like, no. come on. Maybe... It's... That's like, we live in a world where women can go and do their own thing. They don't need a man yeah. to be rich, do they? Um, you know, and what if the dad wants to be a house dad and look after the yeah. kids, you know? One thing we can agree on is, I love chocolate. Yeah. Is there a brand to this? He looks like Johnny Bravo. I like his shorts. Yeah, they're cool. They haven't put, like, a six-pack on him. You would think, considering how... Um, well, they haven't gone for that stereotype, so that's good. Yeah. They've just gone for like a, a well-built, solid man. The details they? are good, aren't they? Oh, this is from Treat Street. The only thing that worries me is when you write premium milk chocolate, it's kind of like you're having to tell me it's premium. Yeah. Is it actually? This probably won't be the best chocolate. No, it's premium. <laughs> but it's a great little Valentine's You're going to take his it? head or his feet or his boxes because they're white chocolate. Maybe his boxes because they're white chocolate. Well, I love his feet. That's a solid... Oh, no, that's a nice bit of... Breakage. Like this bit. Mmm. Super primo. 
My suspicions were right. If you write premium, you're trying to tell people it's good. Do now he's know? just half a man <laughs> with a foot. Oh, you've literally eaten the white chocolate off. You're a cheat. She's a cheat. That comes in white chocolate, get that. <laughs> oh, look at the poor guy. Oh, now. need some surgery. More of a novelty thing. Definitely a novelty thing. You know, but like kids, well, kids don't, oh, obviously you're not going to get that for a child. No. But like some people don't really mind um, where the chocolate comes from. Really? Well, some people I've never met anyone like that really? yet. <laughs> okay, what are we going for next? I think the M&M's. M&M's. So these are coffee nuts. Coffee this is nut. a massive bag, isn't it? You're a it? coffee nut. I thought coffee was beans though, not nuts. No, because there's coffee and nuts in this. Oh, I see. Nutter. Oh, they're massive. Nutter. Oh, wow. Nice colours. Lovely. You've got a dark brown, a lovely, like, caramelly brown. And I'm a guessing this one's got beige. the nut in. No, they've all got nuts in. I thought it's on my coffee in. <laughs> coffee and nuts. I'm not getting this. So, can you see the casing have got the coffee in? The coffee's not that strong, so I enjoy them more. Mm. Whereas you, I wish there was more coffee. That's quite a nice coffee flavour, though, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, it's good coffee flavour. It says natural flavouring. I just wish there was more of it. Yeah. If it was stronger. Can I pick next? Yes, please do. Really want to try the musketeer three, the three musketeers birthday cake edition. I just can't believe they do a birthday cake. I though, know. Though. Now, um. This isn't the only one we've been sent, but Dan got in there first. Oh, really? We've got a few of these coming in some boxes, a which few. if we like these, that's exciting. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Scandalous. Can't you really the see bit? the... No, okay. Mm. I do like three musketeers. See that color? Mm. It's more like the um, yeah. Trader Joe's bar. Yeah, I like three musketeers. Mmm. Mm. So good. You can taste it, can't you? Yeah. It's kind of sweet. But it's not like f overly sweet. Mm. I wouldn't say, if if I had this blindfolded or didn't know the flavour, I wouldn't say that was birthday cake. No. But it's a nice flavour. It almost tastes like something else. And you know what? I did. We put some three musketeers in the freezer as per someone's instructions. And I tried one and it's amazing. Yeah, you in loved the freezer. it. I still haven't tried so it. So good. Mm. Well, there's what, still one in there that? for you. That's a 10. 10 out of 10. Really? Yeah. So I think I'd actually say that's nine and a half. Really? And a musketeer is 10. I think I just ever so slightly prefer a three musketeer. I think they're both as good to me. They are both as good. Mm. But yeah. Shall we stay on the bar front? Yes. Because we have a Milky Way Ooh, what Midnight. Variation? What's Midnight? So then? this is rich, dark chocolate. Golden caramel vanilla nougat. I'm surprised you've suggested this then. Yeah, no. I think it's exactly the same as a Milky Way. Yeah. But instead of milk chocolate, it's dark chocolate. Mm. So for us and Canada, it's a Mars bar. I never imagined having a dark chocolate Mars bar. No. I wonder if they do. Oh, look how white it is inside. I swear a normal Milky Way is not that white. No. Oh, hold on. It's vanilla nougat. Mm. Maybe it's not usually vanilla. No, it's not. Mmm. Is it good? Real good. They probably thought make it less that rich. Layer of caramel. Is it good? Mm. Oh wow, that's mm. such a thick layer. So good. Yeah, look how thick that caramel is. That is so good. That's what I want from the market the in the chocolate. UK. I wish so they did a normal one with the vanilla yeah. nougat. Yeah, that's so because good. Because I do like it? the dark, but um, I prefer it. Mmm. Mm. That's delicious. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Now these look interesting. And look, how cute is that bag? So the size kids. of it. What are they called? Freezy. So this is a freeze edition. Lemonade variety. Now I've been told about the hot, the heat edition and the freeze edition. We've, We've had, had the, the heat. heat. Yeah. And I didn't know what it says here with a cooling sensation. That's and these are lemonade variety mix. I can see that going together, but I'm not sure why you'd want the the cooling sensation, yeah. but. So the flavors are blue raspberry lemonade, yum. Strawberry lemonade, yum. Lemonade and cherry lime lemonade. Some good flavor choices in there. I'm gonna go for a pink and a blue first. What's the shape are they? Oh, the kids. Just normal, the kids. Strawberry lemonade. Mmm. 
It almost does have a cooling. Hmm. Very strange. Do you know how I think they've got that cooling sensation? Menthol. Like a. Yeah, or a bit of a fizz. It's like yeah, it added a really strange flavour, hasn't it? Mmm. It's like. I was really enjoying Can that. I read the back? And then I've put my finger in a pot of Vicks, Vicks and I put it on my tongue. Oh my word! That was such an. <sighs> My mouth is cold. It like kills the flavour and then all yeah. you can taste is like menthol. I kind of wish it literally just had those flavours yeah. and not tried to be That's cold. That's a shame. Titanium dioxide. Maybe that's it. That sounds like a strange, very strange but thing to put in a drink. Is your mouth feeling really... I might try a yellow one. Imagine you've eaten a bit of titanium dioxide. That's weird, isn't mm. it? That's odd. That's not up my street, that's for sure. No. The best um, Sour Patch Kids to date are the strawberry and the watermelon and just original. Mm. Shall we stick to sweets? I was thinking, should we do some of those wrapped up ones? The reeds and the yes. regal crown, whatever they are. So I've we've never got seen three that like kind of look the same. Apart from those um, butter rum lifesavers, do you not think these oh, remind yeah. you? So these, these look, really look quite classic. old school. We've got two that are reeds. Reed's butter scotch. And then I think this one's a different um, brand. This is Regal. 1893 for the Reed's and 1953 for the Regal. Should we do Reed's first? Let's stick to Reed's. Root what flavour have you got? I've got butterscotch. And I've got root beer. Are they hard as well? Like yeah, a hard, hard candy? candy. So if you love root beer, surely oh, you'd funny. love these. I'm going to go butterscotch first. There's a root beer for you, Al. Mmm. Mmm. You know, like with butter squat, scotch and things, it is a hard candy, but around the outside it's kind of soft. Mm -hmm. It's a bit like chewy. I can mm. smell that. Mm. This well, is actually really nice. I actually am enjoying this root beer one. Yeah. It tastes like the A&W. Oh, well, that's good. If you like root beer, this would be the perfect like hard-boiled sweet for you. Oh, no. Because sometimes when it comes to hard-boiled sweets, like, you don't want a sickly sweet no. flavour. You don't always want mint. Mm. I actually think that's really nice. Oh, that is nice. Isn't it? Mm. It's like the A and W fountain. You're kind of making me think I'm drinking it. Yeah. This does taste more vanilla. -y. Yeah, it's like the fountain mm. we had at Tim Hall, uh, A and W in Canada. Mm. If you haven't checked that video out yet, link up there. Okay, butterscotch is definitely in first place, but yeah. that root beer is nice. It's actually really, really enjoyable. And saying that, I can't believe it because when we first tried mm. root beer, there's no chance I ever would have enjoyed a root beer sweet. And these butterscotch ones are kind of like Werther's Originals. Yeah, mm. but in some ways, I think they might be better. Mm. Really good flavour. Because of that chewiness around mm. the outside. I'm going to carry on with that <laughs> later. <laughs> might take them to the theatre with me tonight. This is a real... Is it sour? Classic American sour flavour. Like how sour? Really quite sour. Oh look, there's like, in the middle, can you see white? Or is that just me? That's just you. Whoa! That is mm. sour. Okay, these taste like cherry drops in England, mm. but with the sour. With the sour edge. I'm gonna 100% put those in my car. That is the gold standard. Delicious. Maybe if we got merch, maybe it should be like, I'll put that in my car. <laughs> I'm a corner. I'll put that in my car. I'll put that in my car. <laughs> you, we've got a Kate selection of t-shirts. I'm a corner. I'm gonna put that in my car. I'm going in my car after this, so they are staying. What would be on my t-shirts? Your t-shirt would be like um, <laughs> Chesapeake Bay. <laughs> Just Hamilton quotes. I think we'd get in trouble for that. Oh yeah, what are those champagne? These look fancy, don't really? they? I thought that was a chocolate. No. So this is Champagne Dreams Gourmet Gummies. Champagne Scotty. Yeah. Brut and rose flavoured. Oh, very nice. Oh, non-alcoholic, no artificial flavours, colours from natural sources. I like this packaging and the feel of it. Feel that. Oh, it's matte, isn't it? It's nice. Yeah. Project 7, it's called. I'm enjoying the scissors approach. You went a bit low on that one, though. Did I? Ooh. Sorry. Mm. So I'm going to get one of each. Why is it so pink? It's going to be rosé and... Mm. 
Mm. We're not immune, so I don't they? What one do you prefer? I don't know the difference, if I'm honest. I don't think I like either of them. I, I think they're better than I thought because I'm not the biggest fan of like Brut or um, Rosé. What's Brut? A type no, of dry, white wine. But like it's I've like had dry. some alcoholic flavoured like candies before and not being the biggest fan, but I don't think they're too bad actually. That's so we got another fancy pack. A fancy pack from Ghirardelli. Ghirardelli. So this is limited edition. Who managed to catch it? Valentine's white chocolate creme brulee with other natural flavors. Ooh, creme brulee. Very nice. Holly's just come back from San Fran. Yeah, from San Fran, and that's where the Ghirardelli's from. Did she go to it? She should have gone to the factory. And as always with these boxes, you get squares like that, and I think that's oh. beautiful. Lovely pink with gold hearts. Hmm. I think oh, sometimes nice. the flavoured ones are hit and miss. No, I think that's got but a good flavour. That... It does have a creme brulee flavour, doesn't mm. it? It's good. It's like the top of a creme brulee like crunchy in there. Yeah. I didn't actually think I was going to like that. I still don't like the white chocolate, but I do like the flavour. Have you ever had just a white bar of Ghirardelli? I don't think so. Quite a good flavour. Mm. I just love the logo. Yeah, it's very classy, isn't it? Make... Right, should we hit these Twizzlers up? Let's hit them up. It's a low fat snack. Okay. Ooh. We've got fruit punch, great cherry orange. And these are orange cream pop, which sounds interesting. What what version have you got? Because this is for them peel. I've You're... got the low fat twisted snack. Low fat? That's what it so says, I think you just snack. eat like that, whereas these twist and pull, people say they like um, to I've found a twist I actually like. Really? It's really like an orange cream popsicle. Because, you know, you get the hole in the middle. Mm -hmm. This has got something in the middle. Mm. I think that's the creamy bit, the orange bits around the outside. Mm. So with this twist and pull, each one you get the different flavour. Is that like twist and pulse from um, mm. Britain's Got Talent? I think it's really like soft in the middle. Mm. Lovely. Oh yeah, I think doing a few at a time is better. They're nice mm. flavours. It reminds me of spun candy, that. Oh yeah. Hmm, that's good. Good fruit punch actually, mm. isn't it? Out of those two, what was your favourite? Orange cream popsicle mm. goes to the final. This is another twist, twist filled, and these are sweet and sour, cherry kick citrus punch. And these ones are just Twizzlers candy straws, and they are rainbow. That would be quite a fight, wouldn't it? Getting kicked by a cherry and being punched by citrus. <laughs> These are um, strawberry, lemonade, watermelon, blue raspberry grape. Good. There's actually two flavours to try oh, in here. Oh, these are individually flavoured. Oh, that's good. So it's not all in one. But I'm going to try. Mm. Blue raspberry. Oh, wow. The cherry is so good. Mmm. What I've learned is there's definitely the flavoured ones that we prefer. Than yeah. like the original, is it strawberry? I just love these filled ones. Mmm. Mmm. Blue raspberry is pretty nice. I just got punched by a cherry. <laughs> and slapped. No, sorry, by citrus. Which one do you prefer? What should I go for first? I prefer cherry. I wonder how hard it is to fill them. Not very. Mmm. Oh, you just cherry stick like one. a nozzle in there and go. These are called candy straws. So obviously people do this in their drinks. Oh yeah, good plan. Or at least it's better than plastic straws. Mm. Mm. Although they come in a plastic bag. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to say orange creamsicle, cherry inside this one. And then fruit I'm, punch. What'd you say? I'm going to say fruit punch. I like the blue raspberry in there. And then I'm going fruit punch. Creamsicle. What a great selection. Great selection. And selecty. definitely I finally like some Twizzlers. Yeah. Can the we get a high ones. five for that? The filled ones are just the dream. Mm. Oh my word, look at this. I'm in Toronto. I think that's good. You like the dark chocolate? I do just pre prefer a milk yeah, chocolate normal. Kit Kat, but it's nice for a change. Yeah, that was nice. I think that'll be actually better with a cup of tea. Yeah, with something else. Mm. Mm. Finally, two things to go. Oh, there's four sticks in there. Yeah, four to go. Is it replacing? No. Oh, it's replacing the caramel. caramel. Why would you do that? 
I love peanut butter, but if they did the caramel and the peanut and butter, the peanut. winner. This is so good though. Mm. Yeah, I do like that. There's so many things from America that are peanut butter flavoured that you just don't get here. Yeah. That I love. The new Snickers peanut butter, this Twix peanut butter, M&M peanut butter. Do you know what that tastes Reese's like? Reese's piece, uh, you know, peanut butter. That peanut butter in there tastes like the peanut butter inside the M&M &M peanut butter. Considering I'm not the biggest fan it of- This is product of Brazil. Really? Very this isn't even American, it's Brazilian. Brazilian. Considering I'm not the biggest fan of peanut butter, like I did actually think that was really mm. nice peanut butter. I just kind of feel like you should add peanut butter instead mm. of replacing the caramel. Um, It'd but be it was so good, good if there if was there a was little layer of caramel right over the top. But what are you giving that? That's still a 10. No, still. it's a nine if I had because the caramel, it has be a 10. the improvement. Well, no, so, because actually a normal Twix is a 10. It's a 10, and then with peanut butter, it's a nine. If I had the caramel, it'd, it'd be, be an 11. 11. How do you pronounce this? Chihuahua? 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 I feel like if I was to create a brand, I wouldn't do something that's not... I feel like that's one of the rules of creating a brand. Something is, that everyone can It should read. be something that everyone can say. Because you don't want someone to get your brand name wrong, do you? No. So we have tried this brand before, and when I was in Florida, I realised that this brand has so many different flavours, really? like so many. This is the Sprinkle Dreams I edition. I don't know if it does, but this makes me think of somewhere like Dylan's Candy Store, yeah. where you could go to this place. They yeah. have their own shops, and the shelves are lined like this perfectly. And you, do you remember that gummy store flavors? with the bear, and like really posh mm. and really expensive, and it's just the, you know what I mean? Yeah. That might I just true. love that pink color. Crispy waffle cone, hazelnuts and milk, and rainbow sprinkles. Party with milk chocolate. Oof. I like the party Oof. with milk chocolate. You are loving the scissors. Oh, I am. It actually has a scissor mark. Really? Oh, look at that. Oof. I love this little bit here. Hmm. Alright, good. Where's the waffle cone in the middle? I think it's just all mixed in. Like, mm. it's very small, I think. In my 30s, I left a tech career in Venezuela to chase my uh, passion for food. Yeah, we read food. this, didn't we? Come on, chocolate's more fun than tech, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. That's nice. Mm, really nice. I love the packaging. Me too. I think the packaging's really good. Packaging is strong. <sighs> Need a nap. <sighs> I feel like we haven't done one that big for a while. No. <laughs> Did you enjoy that? I loved it. Did you enjoy it? I thought that was a really good box. I really loved actually getting to try more than just like one yeah. Twizzler. It was really nice trying the different flavours and the fills. You're the first one to send us fills. Yeah, I don't know if there's so any good. more in boxes to come, but they're the first ones we tried. So Dan, really enjoyed been that. So generous. Yeah. So generous. If you could keep one thing for the rest of your life, what would it be? It would be oh, Milky Way Midnight. Yeah. I would choose. I'd probably do the Musketeers. Oh yeah, that was so good. Wasn't Musketeers it? was really good. But I think Milky Way oh, kind of no! picked it for me. Believe it or not, I'm picking the really? butterscotch. Or the beetroot. And the beetroot. <laughs> the cherries. Fruit bear. Delicious. Dan, thank you so much for such an awesome box. We hope you enjoyed watching that. We have sent Dan a box of British candy backs to say thank you. If anyone else would like to try our boxes, we'll leave a link down below. But we hope you enjoyed watching that and we'll see you guys soon. Bye. See ya.